if you're a man, you think 65,000 thoughts a day. I don't know how they figure this stuff out, but you'll find that in many sources. If you're a woman, remember women multitask. Men can't multitask. Oh, they think they can. But women have to because we have to take care of our home and our kids and the feeding and all these things that have to go on at the same time. So if you're a woman, that's 80,000 thoughts every day. Now, here's something you probably don't know. 95% of those thoughts, 95% of the 65,000 for men, 95% of the 80,000 for women, those thoughts are the same ones you thought yesterday and the day before and the day before and the day before and the week before and the year before and the decade before. The thing is they're happening out of your awareness. They're happening in your subconscious mind technical stuff doesn't matter. It doesn't make a difference. The fact is, if you're wondering why your world looks the same every day, no matter how much you wish and you hope and you think and you envision it to be different, those programs are prioritizing your day every day. That's what's running you. That's why my metaphysical podcast is all about the invisible forces that are running your life, creating your reality, because that's what they are to us. They're invisible. Now, here's the next point to realize. 80% of that huge number of automatic thoughts, 80% of them are negative. They're about something where you're not being enough, where you wish you were more, where you think what you have isn't good enough. And when your mind is going to places like that, and then you see a friend who's just manifested something that you really wanted to, only you didn't, instead of feeling happy for them, which would boost your own frequency, instead of boosting your frequency to a higher level, you have this block that gets in the way. And it's your frequency keeping you down because you have envy or jealousy or disappointment. And that's what's keeping you stuck. 